Why did you want to work in education? Uh, well, at first, I have an interesting story. I did not start working in education. I started, uh, I went to school, to, I got an art degree. So I really enjoyed drawing and creating growing up and wasn't big into schooling. What kept me into school was football and art. So my dad said to me one day, he says, you have three options. You can go to work, you can go to the military, or you can go to college. And I said, well, I think the lesser of all those evils would be go to college. So I uh, went to college, I picked an art degree, I graduated the bachelor's in art, and uh, the art world, there's not a lot of opportunity to make a, a lot of money in art. So one day I was working out in my local gym in West Virginia, and uh, my high school principal, Mr. Yanni, was there. And we were having a discussion on what I'm doing, and I was working at a, a distribution center, uh, throwing potatoes on a pallet all night long, and it was just not a not a fun job. And I said, Mr. Yanni, what should I what should I go back to school for? I want to really do something that's good. He said, You should be a teacher. You should go get your master's in special education. And I uh, look back, and I think that was the best idea I've ever had in my entire life. Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be sitting here right here today. So I wasn't in education until. One person I met had faith in me, and he said to me, uh, I've seen you work with people, uh, you have a good heart, and I really think you'd be successful as a teacher. So I went down that route, and I never looked back. When we say an art degree, an art, what's, what kind of art? It was, uh, I like to do uh, 2D, which is drawing, drawing and painting, and I usually do mixed media with pen and uh, a little, maybe some watercolor stuff. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. I want to be a graphic artist at first, and I just ended up with a plain art degree. And I was gonna either go back to school, get a master's in graphic graphic design, or uh, I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I just wanted to get that bachelor's out of the way. And I, uh, I did, and after that, as a kid, thinking no, you know everything, I thought I'd get a really good job after I uh, graduated, and that didn't happen. So well, I led down the route of education. Uh, what got you interested in education as a career? Uh, actually, once I went back to school, I, as soon as I stepped foot in my first classroom, I realized this is what I should have done in the first place. Uh, I really enjoyed the culture, how warm and inviting uh, the students were, the, my professors. Then I started in my uh, university, uh, at my master's degree, I started going into classrooms and really uh, doing lessons and interacting with kids. And I was like, wow, this is, this is what I was made to do. Um, could you tell us about your one of your favorite teachers? You've mentioned one already. Um, well, one of my favorite teachers, so Mr. Yanni, is, of course, was my uh, one of my uh, folks that really led me into education. But my art teacher in high school, Miss um, Bailey, was a great teacher and uh, really open hearted and inviting and uh, really wanted to teach the techniques, but really wanted you to, to uh, enjoy what you were doing. Now she always said, no, just don't do something to do it. Enjoy what you're doing. That's why I became an art teacher. And a uh, funny, funny thing happened. I did eventually become an art teacher. I didn't know I could have, because I got my bachelor's in art and my master's in special education. I lived in Colorado for a while, and their laws are a little bit different than North Dakota, where you, as long as you have a teaching degree in a subject, if you have the praxis test, or so many hours in another subject, you could teach that subject. And I that qualified me to teach art. I taught art for eight years in Colorado, which was the, one of the best jobs I've ever had. Uh, could you tell us about your job responsibilities at uh, the department? Oh, uh, here at CPI, what I, I, I even do the windows here, so I feel like sometimes. Uh, always, every day it's different, but my primary job here would be, uh, you know, school approval. Schools uh, will, uh, they, they have to fill out their reports. It's not the, the most glamorous part of the job, uh, but I am, I have a big responsibility of making sure, sure schools are compliant with reports, but what we do here at the department at our office, the School Approval and Opportunity Office, is how can we help administrators and school personnel be compliant? How can we work with you so the law is not a hindrance to you? It's, 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 we're here to help you. Uh, Another big component, which is one of my favorite parts of the job, is school approval. Excuse me, uh, school improve, continuous school improvement, and student engagement. I love student engagement piece because it lets me let the work I do directly affects the kids. 
that I'm uh, that I'm here for. I never see the, I never see kids anymore because I'm in, I'm in the, uh, the capital. Uh, when you're a teacher, you see kids every day, and you take that for granted. When you're in a classroom, sometimes here I'm helping more kids, but I don't get to see them as much. Uh, that student engagement piece is very important to me because if kids aren't engaged in their learning, they're not going to, to succeed or less likely to succeed. If they're engaged and they're happy, they have that mo in intrinsic motivation, you'll see that in their achievement, which is really cool to see uh, throughout the state. How long have you worked here? I've been here for th three years now. It'll be my third year anniversary, September 16th. And uh, why did you want to work for the Department of Public Instruction? Uh, job came open. I was working. I had a great job before I walk, came over to the department. I uh, was a vice president at Hit Incorporated. Uh, I was vice president of the Child and Family Services Division over there. And uh, one of my portfolios over there was I was the Head Start Director. So I was a, I've been all over the place with my educational career. Um, I never saw myself as an early childhood person, but I went into uh, Head Start. And I fell in love with that job, fell in love with the kids, fell in love with that culture and that family. And, uh, you know, after five, six years of doing that, I, uh, the opportunities came up at the department. And I said, you know what, I, I'm helping a, bunch, a lot of kids here in, in central North Dakota, but I think I can do more. So I keep on trying try to push myself to do more. And I think uh, I made a good decision to come to uh, the department. But I love the opportunity of working for Head Start because it just gave me another experience that I can bring to the table here at the department. Uh, what do you like about your job? Oh boy, I love the people. The people here are phenomenal. Uh, working with the field, uh, I, you, people, I travel for this job a lot and I go to Atlanta and New York and DC and I say, you know, I live in North Dakota and they say, can't be that diverse up there and you would not believe from working here how diverse North Dakota is from the Northeast to the Southwest you have uh, farmers and ranchers our ranchers on the West uh, farmers on the uh, in the East you know you, you have our Native American populations which is really rich with culture uh, I really enjoy going to each of those sites and seeing those folks and meeting them and interacting that's probably one of my favorite parts of the job uh, could you tell us about yourself a bit? Where are you from originally? Where'd you go to school? And what jobs you had before you started working at yeah. the department? I, uh, I mentioned I'm from, I'm, I'm a country boy from West Virginia. I grew up in a small steel mill town in, uh, it's called Weirton, West Virginia. And I grew up there, great little community. Uh, I really miss the rolling hills and the green, the green hills of West Virginia and the mountains. Uh, Went to school at a school called West Liberty State College. Got my bachelor's there. Went on to uh, get my uh, master's at the West uh, University of West Virginia, or West Virginia University. And uh, after that, I struck out on my own. Went down to uh, Florida, first year teaching in Florida. Decided it was really too hot for me down in Florida. I really enjoyed being there and the people down there. But again, I'm from West Virginia, and I don't, I, that's a little too hot for me, and it's too flat for me. And here I am in North Dakota, one of the flattest states. <laughs> uh, then I moved to Colorado because I missed my mountains. And, uh, you know, opportunity came up to move to North Dakota. I got into school at UND. I got my leadership training at the University of North Dakota. And uh, I've been here ever since. Uh what do you like to do when you're not at work? I love golf. I golf a lot. Um, my son and I golf together. I golf with my friends. And people always ask me, wow, you, what do you do on the weekend? I said, I'm golfing. And they say, wow, you golf a lot. You must be good. And, and I'm not. I'm really bad at it. And I just keep on going back. Uh, I'm glad for punishment, I guess. Uh, I enjoy the game, but I wish I, I could get better at it. Uh, I have seen myself improve, but I really I just do it to hang out with my, my buddies and my son. So that's the, the main experience. Uh, reason why I go golfing. Do you know what what your handicap is? Uh, it's roughly fourteen or fifteen. So you yeah. shoot typically when what? Bogey golf. So okay, <laughs> a few pars, but a lot more bogeys than uh, than uh, than pars. What type of music do you like? I uh, like I said, I'm from West Virginia, and I love bluegrass. I love that banjo and that fiddle. Uh, I try to get back home at least once a year to go to a bluegrass festival or. A concert uh, but I really enjoy that genre of music. What motivates you to work hard? Uh, the students, kids here in North Dakota, uh, the people I work with really motivate me. I, there's a 
group of high flyers here at uh, the department that really, when we really push each other because we're all on the same page, uh, the same goal in mind, with the, which is the student success. And that success is any way that student measures success. It doesn't have to be a test. It could be graduating high school. I, some kids just want to graduate. That's their goal. So we are here to support that. Some kids want to go to college. Some kids want to go get in the military. Some kids want to go to West Point, MIT. Uh, whatever they want to do, we that motivates me to come to work every day to help them succeed at doing those uh, those goals they have. What's the first thing you notice about a person? Uh, how perceptive they are. So let me explain that a little bit. I, I did a lot of training on observation and culture and uh, when you meet somebody if they have a glazed look on their eyes uh, it's a sign of they really don't want to be there uh, I want to see how intent you are and how you look at someone and how, what questions you ask uh, it's a sign of uh, respect genuality it's a sign of genuality uh, it's a sign of your sense of humor uh, your, 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 your background uh, you can get a lot out of a person just by paying attention to them and or if they're paying attention to you while you're speaking. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Uh, I really enjoy it here. I love uh, I, I love North Dakota and I do say that when it, from the bottom of my heart. I'm not from here. I'm an adopted son in the state. I'm an adopted son in this uh, department and every time I travel go anywhere I'm proud to say I'm from uh, North Dakota. Uh, the people are the best here. Uh, it's I call it the flat West Virginia. People give your, their shirt off your back. Uh, the culture is phenomenal, uh, and just the, some of the nicest people I ever met in my life. So, thank you. <laughs>